Dalkeith Corn Exchange once played a large part in the community before it fell into a state of disrepair. However, thanks to heritage funding, it is now a vibrant and buzzing community hub. Let's head inside and find out a little bit more about the history and the restoration of the building. The building was designed by David Cousin and construction started in 1853. With a price tag of 3400 which is approximately 478000 today, the building was the most important grain market in Scotland. The chair of the Dalkeith History Society tells us a little bit more about this. Well, back in the first half of the 18th, sorry, 19th century, Dalkeith was the biggest grain market in Scotland. And at that time, the grain was being sold in the street. And of course, Scottish weather being like it is, they decided to build a market. And it was, it was the, really the, the landowners and the farmers and the corn merchants that commissioned the building and paid for the building as well. So they, they, they arranged for the building to be built and it was opened in 1854. During the period the building lay empty, it fell victim to leaks, rot and vandalism. However, in 2015, local housing association Melville Housing purchased the building. They undertook the necessary restoration work to convert the building into their new offices and the museum. Andrew Noble, chief executive of Melville Housing, tells us about the restoration. It was deteriorating rapidly. It had been empty for a few years by the time we actually bought it. Um, before that, it had been a, a kind of almost a, a, a junk store and an auction house. By the time we bought it, it had been empty and it took quite a time between us purchasing it and starting on site. We engaged with a, a, a whole design team, uh, architects and uh, quantity surveyors, etc., uh, and some expert stone masons uh, to get uh, the project on board. Um, there was a lot of complex, you know, it's an old building, it's a, a grade listed building, so there were a lot of hoops to go through to get that. Developing a design that, um, that it, preserved all the good aspects and but made a modern building as an office and we were able to, to achieve uh, you know, the building we've got today. Well the building was in a really bad state, it was derelict, it had been vacant for a number of years so it was quite a challenge to get it back into use. So one of the main things was really was to find a use for the building but also to find people who would be interested in using it as well. And Heritage Lottery gave us over a million pounds grant and Historic Scotland were nearly a million. Um, so quite significant grants and Melville Housing Association through their funding paid for the rest. There was a, a very large beam, um, uh, which was a huge oak beam, uh, which was supporting the, what was the balcony area at the far end of the, the, the building, uh, and it had rotted a lot more than uh, the survey work showed. So I had to find a way of removing that and propping up the, the whole structure uh, and putting in a steel replacement beam. So that was the, the biggest uh, single issue we had. The Dalkeith Museum is rich in history and has hard-working individuals who saved the building from being lost. Now the building will serve the local area for years to come. The museum has volunteers from the Dalkeith History Society and is open Tuesday through to Friday to the public.